last get dressed with me chit chat get dressed with me of course i realized that i want to add more fashion into this channel if you don't know i absolutely love fashion so to start off my fashion videos i would like to give you guys a little backstory of my fashion evolution i consider myself a fashionista i feel like my style is good but we should all feel like we're that girl or that boy when it comes to style and if you don't feel that yet with these videos i hope you find your style find what you like to wear in today's video i'll be showing you all the styles that i went through talking about it a little bit i'm gonna have a screen recording on my phone these are pretty funny okay so let me start right here this is the first picture this is 2012 so i am 11 right here Honestly, I was in my dad's glasses. This was one of the only times in my life, like one of the three times that I had braids. So I thought I was doing something. I have on a polo Ralph Lauren dress. I have on my little cheap Walmart watch, I believe. But the belt is what sets it off. I got on a ring. I got on a bracelet, a necklace, my mother's humongous earrings, my father's glasses, unless I can't even see the shoes, but just know, probably weren't good. And I have on leggings underneath because of course you gotta keep it classy, honey. You gotta keep it classy. So this was literally the beginning of me being that girl. I was always just wearing what I wanted to wear. Of course, I don't think I was leaving the house like this because like half the stuff in my body did not belong to me. This dress is something that I actually still have in my closet. So that just goes to show how much I can keep reinventing what I wear so I can keep wearing it and keep making Making it unique pieces but right here I just thought I was doing something honey so now let's go back to 2013 this is in the summer I'm actually in a movie theater bathroom I wore buns a lot a lot a lot I was really into necklaces so statement necklaces all that um, costume jewelry I love that that was one thing that I really honed in on. When you go through the years of my style, you're gonna see there's one thing that I'm super into at the time, and for a long time, it was necklaces. Right now, I have on a shirt that I think I got from, it might have been a dollar store or Walmart, and I always wear a watch. I am one of the only females I know that has always been trying to wear my dad's watch. I love bulky watches. Um, jewelry is something that always spoke to me. I love jewelry. It really makes a statement. So that's what's going on in this first picture right here. This second picture is also July 14th. I think it's like the day before the other one. And I got this neon shirt from one of my trips from Destin with the pink pants. I was always color coordinating, honey. I had the colors together. And as you can see right here, if you zoom in, it looks like I was trying to make some baby hairs. Not good. And I used to do little colorful clip-ins. And that's one thing that also set me off. I wanted color from the day I came out the womb. I wanted colored hair. So I used to buy the little fake clip-in weaves. And I used to have that pop of color, honey. So right there I had it in blonde with my pearl earrings and that exact same necklace. So I probably didn't have a lot of necklaces at the time, but I was rocking what I had. And of course, I have the mini mouse watch on, honey. Real big face. 2013, and I was in Vegas. This was my first and only time I went to Vegas. It was really cold, so do not judge this outfit. As you can see, the jeans, a little loose. The gloves, a little big. But I wasn't trying to be stylish out there. I was trying to be warm. So this leather jacket was something I had in my closet for a very long time. I'm not really like a jacket girl. I'm more of a hoodie girl so jackets are something that I keep for a very long time this picture right here this is 2013 also and girl I was at a chorus event I wasn't chorus growing up and I had in the clip-ins as usual you see that little red right there red I don't have two piercings so I don't know why it looks like I have two earrings but pearl earrings again and you see this headband right here is actually a ribbon and on the ribbon, I clipped on a flower. See, that's the type of stuff I was doing. Like I said, I wore buns a lot, but I used to dress it up. I have this picture right here, and I was with someone in it, but I used to dress up my uniforms. I was the only person at my school that dressed up my uniforms. People used to say that it looks like I was going to a runway show and not school, but we're going to get into that. There's going to be haters. But I was literally wearing what I wanted to and making it look good and making myself look different, so that was a sweater on top of my school uniform close to my birthday is actually Christmas Eve I always have trouble finding good sweaters so now we're getting into the phase of my life when I 
discovered Rule 21. I am not a fast fashion type of girl now, but back then, Rule 21 was my best friend. They had cheap clothes. They had stuff I thought I wanted to wear. So I got a buy one, get one half off sweater, and you're going to see that in the next picture too. From there, so that's what's going on here. I thought my hair was cute, and I have on the two gold chain necklaces that were really a statement piece. This was for Christmas and look at the hair. This is the other sweater that I got from Rule 21 with the same gold necklaces. Glasses on top of my head. I think I still have those glasses. Real cute. Girl, I think maybe I was in 8th grade and I got this little dress. Really horrendous. But now I could make something out of it. It's a cheetah dress and I got that from Walmart I believe on sale with the same gold necklaces not making a cute face. I don't do those faces anymore. Pearl earrings and this one right here. When I was this age, I was completely braiding the front of my hair way too much. That's why it was starting to break off. But right here is another cheetah ensemble. That's why I guess I put these two pictures together. I have on a simple little necklace, but I used to wear the mess out of those fake glasses. I don't know why. I thought they were cute. That's why. Yeah, so let's just, let's just go on. This picture is from 2014, July. I went to Destin. This is another shirt I got from... Rule 21, sadly. I thought it was really cute though. My hair was nice. Pearl earrings. This is a different watch. I already can see the watch a little bit and I really like that watch. And these are actually like one of the first things I started to make. I made myself some bleached jean shorts. They were super duper cute so I wore that on vacation. Your girl thought she was going to the club in this picture honey. I already know this is 2014. Whole fit came from Rule 21. I had on a little skirt. I had on a Dooney and Burke charm bracelet. A nice watch. Some little heels. I think I got those for like I don't know. They were super cheap though. And this really really humongous gaudy gold necklace i loved it i thought i was cute i thought i was cute look the hair i thought i was going somewhere in this outfit this was probably one of my favorite outfits because the skirt was tight at the time and you know growing up not into that no more this next picture was when i was getting into high school y'all look at me i had on my little high school shirt but i used to dress it up even more i had on the necklace with the nike hoodie i missed that nike hoodie my nails are done and I thought I was cute. I thought I was a photographer, honey, a model. This next picture, this was like for Thanksgiving. I had on some Coach Converse type of shoes. I wore them forever, forever, forever. I had on these jeans, and I think these jeans were Ralph Lauren. This shirt, guess where I got it from? Rule 21. And I had on my dad's hair and bone chain that is now my hair and bone chain. I don't know what was going on with the hair. I, I was trying to do, this is before space buns were space buns, and I just... I don't know gold watch I thought this outfit was it the shirt showing underneath is not it okay so here we go again mm, okay girl I thought I was something again because the pants were tight I'm not into that no more jewelry Dooney and Burke shirts Ross necklace I don't know pearl earrings super straight hair not into that glasses honey I think I might took them from my grandmother I think she gave those to me sandals rule 21 pants I don't know not cute but I thought I was it in this picture I thought I was it no nah, I thought I was it in this picture this is another shirt that I got from um hopefully not rule 21 I'm gonna say Charlotte Roos because I shopped there too but the way I'm looking at it I think it's rule 21 and like I said back then I was color coordinating and I think I have on an accent necklace I was classy. I always dressed classy. This is actually really cute. I would really want to recreate this look. This is when I started getting into flannels. So I got on this green flannel, white shirt, cute glasses, and an accent necklace to match, honey. I was just it. And I added a little filter, okay? This is actually my cousin's car, and I have on my Nike corsets. This is how I know this is the season. I was so inspired by California culture and all that. I had to give me some Nike Cortez. Invicta watch, hair and bone chain, humongous bun though. This dress my mother absolutely could not stand. I think I got this dress from Family Dollar. If you guys do not know, your girl be finding the good looks, the good clothes in Family Dollar. The same gaudy necklace. It looks like I just had a fresh relaxer. I don't, this looks like 2014. I was 13 years old dressing like a classy woman, classy. 
So these pictures are when I'm starting to get a little bit older. I'm 14 now. Well, I'm about to be 15. This was taken on December 5th. This is when I started getting into wearing hats. I absolutely love to wear hats and I was flexoriding my hair every night. And your girl was wearing a lot of black t-shirts. Why am I always in this black t-shirt? I don't know. But this was actually for Christmas of the 2015 year. The skirt I made myself and the shirt I made myself, I was really doing it big. Whole outfit by me right here. This is when I started getting into fashion more and making my own clothes. So I was really into this look. As you can see, I probably got a little mascara. Pearl earrings. Do you guys see why it's so devastating to me now that I can't find my pearl earrings? Because I wore them every day and now they're gone. What kind of mess is that? This next outfit. It's those same little jeans, ew. My old white Nike Cortez. This jacket that I got from Charlotte Russe, I believe, with a tank top that I got from New York and Company outlet, an accent necklace, pearl earrings, and my watch that I actually bought myself. Sporty, cute. This is 2016, great year. This is when I started to be like more dressy coming into everything. What I have on is a, a strapless top that I actually made myself. I actually just gave it away like a few months ago. And a kimono that I got from, you guessed it, Charlie Roos or Roos 21 and an accent necklace. My hair is in band two knots. It was really short, I probably cut it. This whole outfit, <laughs> is from Rule 21. So during this phase, I was really into like urban wear. And one way if you wanna see my fashion evolution, it's just by going through my Pinterest boards. For a long time, I just wanted to dress straight urban. Not girly urban, just straight urban hoodies, joggers, tennis shoes every day all day black that's how I want to dress but now I've learned to combine it more with everything else so this outfit is combining it a little bit I have one of joggers a black tank top pearls but an accent necklace that just sets it off and makes it you know a little bit more girly this is evidence that I shopped in Charlotte Roos because this is in Charlotte Roos's mirror I have the bag I had this coat that I made a fur coat I actually have the jacket back there it's a regular blazer that I put the fur on this is actually a romper that I tucked into the tight tight jeans do you know how hard that was but I was doing what I had to do to create a look honey the same accent necklace that I still have in my drawer you know hair flipped and nice and these really ugly boots but I got them from Sears on sale and they kind of put the outfit together I've always been a heel type of girl so I was trying to put on any heels I could to go with this look so that's what was going on there this was also a look honey this is 2016 the glasses the shirt is from forever 21 I have paired that with overalls like I said juxtaposition in fashion that's what I do I like to be different this was actually my birthday dinner outfit that I made myself you see I had to put on a little shirt underneath because this, this was a little risque for a 16 year old but I had in my bun I wasn't wearing crop tops even back then my parents got it together they knew that it wasn't even about to be like that so I made a super long skirt the skirt is actually something I made too. It was super thin as you can see from the bottom. It was cute. It was really really tight. I could have another necklace on silver. This picture is actually in the bathroom of my grandmother's birthday shoot. So she had a photo shoot for her birthday. We all had to wear purple. This is actually a sleeping clothes shirt. Your girl makes do. You could wear anything and make it fashion and that's what I believe. So this is a sleeping clothes shirt and i have on the same little jacket blazer that i made this is back in 2015 i know that because of the date and also because i'm wearing a flannel with a chain this is 2014 in a roots 21 shirt with a roots 21 headpiece because i thought i wanted to be like that <laughs> this is 2015 y'all i'm getting comfortable and i have on that same amore shirt this picture is actually our last picture and it was one of my favorites and i had on the hoodie and the lighting was right and i loved it and this was 2015 so I just want to show you my fashion evolution throughout the years. It's really not about what's on you, it's about what's in you. So know that for sure. That's the main key to being a trendsetter, to being that girl, to finding your personal style. It's not what you're wearing, it's what's in you. It's about how you wear it. Designer doesn't matter, how much it costs it does not matter. What people say doesn't matter, it matters about how you feel when you wear it. So that is something I just want to show you in all those pictures. 
I knew I looked good. Nobody could tell me different. So I want to show you that. So now as I continue to make more videos, you can know a little bit of my past. The next video I would like to make is definitely trying on all my clothes because I feel like that would be super fun. I've been seeing a couple people do that. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I want to do more fashion videos on the way. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to holler at y'all soon.